Hello everybody, this is part one of Kima and this part is Kima Yoga for your flexibility. We are going to start with bioenergy. You want to have your feet at the level of the shoulders and you are going to bend a little bit your knees. You are going to make a light fist with your thumb inside and we are going to start the tapping to awaken your bioenergy. We are going to do 200. One on one. And so we go down to awaken all our meridians, down to the legs. The feet. Back of the legs. Back of the knees. Back up. The lower back and the kidneys. Back in the front. The liver on the right. And the spleen on the left. chest, all around the chest. And then arms. the neck, back of the neck, face with your fingers, back of the face, back of the head, and top of the head, and then you open your arm to the side, you relax your brain, relax your shoulders, relax your stomach area and feel the energy movement in your body.
rotation of the spine. Slowly we stop. Extension of the arm and hands. Interlock your finger and push. You want to stay in each pose for 15 to 20 seconds. Release and try to grab your hands in the back. Release. Shake a little bit. Bring your hand in clear position above your head. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Look up like you look to touch your ceiling and open your arm to the side. And shake. Bring your hands in clear position to the back of your body. And then slowly you are going to bring your chest down towards your knees. Relax your head. Let the gravity and relaxation do the work. Do not force into the pose. And slowly come back up. Feet apart. Look at your right hand and slowly slide to the left. And slowly shift to the opposite side. And slowly come back. You shake and we see. Sit with your hands on your knees. Relax your brain, close your eyes, relax your shoulders, relax your stomach area and love your body. And now same position, look at your right hand and go to the left. And slowly reverse. And slowly come back. Hand above your head. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up, look up like you're going to touch the ceiling 
and open your hand to the side. Relax your shoulders. Relax your stomach area. Slowly bring your hands in front of you and slowly you go down. When you are going down, you can just bring your forearm, but you can be just fully with just your hand. And sometimes the goal is to be able to bring your forehead on the floor. So if your forearm are in the way, you just bring your hand into the back and you bring your forearm on the floor. Bring back your forehand, your hand on the front, push. And same, change your leg position. And same thing, bring your hands in front of you and stay like this. Or bring your forearm on the floor, or bring your hands on the back and bring your forehead on the floor. And then bring your hands in front of you, push slowly. Put your hands on your knees, relax your shoulders, and remember in Kima Yoga, we are not forcing into the pose, we are loving our body. You want to use gravity and relaxation. Look down to the floor. And then push your head to the right. And then to the back, look at the ceiling. And then slowly to the left. And then back to the floor. And do another full circle on your own, slowly. And then reverse. Two full circles. Now grab your knees and do full circle with your body, like if you were going to kiss the floor. Three full circle in one way and reverse. And when you are on the floor, just push and come back to the sitting position. Relax your shoulders, relax your brain, relax your stomach area, smile to your body, love your body. Now you stay in that position and your right leg is going to go on, extend to the right side. You turn a little bit your hips to the right and then slowly slide towards your feet. You can stay like this with your hands on your knees. You can grab your big toes. The goal is to not force into the pose, is to really love your body and let gravity do the work.
and slowly come back up. Bring your hips straight, reverse your left leg to the left, slowly bring your hips to the left and slide. Slowly come back up, bring back your legs in sitting position, relax your shoulders, shake if you need a little bit. Now we are going to go to the other side of the mat. Extend your legs in front of you, slowly slide. You can keep your hands on your knees or you can bring them if you can towards your feet or grab your big toe and slowly do not pull just let gravity do the work love relaxation and gravity Slowly come back up. Your left foot is going to go over your right knee. Your right, your left hand on your right leg. And you are going to slowly twist the spine. Your spine is not, was not created to fully twist. Try to push with your right hand to be your back as straight as possible. Release the pose and do the opposite. Your right foot over your left knee, your right hand on your left leg, bring your left arm on the side, Push, back straight, twist lightly. Slowly bring your back, the front, your head, your leg and slowly lay down. Bring, put your arm both shoulders on the floor. Slowly twist your spine to the right and bring your head to the left if you want you can bring your hands on your knee to slightly create a little bit more weight it's not necessary Release your hand, bring back your head first, bring back your hips to the floor and we change position to the other side. Right up, twist, look to the right. Both your shoulders are on the floor. And if you want, bring your left hands on your right knee.
bring back your head first, let go your hand, bring back your hips on the floor, both foot toward your bum, and lift your hips up, inhale, push with your heels, exhale down, inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up and stay up. And slowly down. Go to your right side and slowly push come to a sitting position. Sit. Hands on your knees, relax your shoulders, relax your stomach area, smile to your body. Changing position, come on your knees if you need. You can always take a little blanket or pillow, and if you don't need, do not use. Bring your palms on the floor with fingers towards your body, and we are going to stretch our wrist. And slowly you come and sit. Further away, more stretch. You want to have your entire palm on the floor, so you don't need to go really far, and you sit. So you can bring your fingers towards, closer to your body. Now you can go back to sitting and you are going to do the opposite. Press gently on your hand to stretch your wrist. And reverse. Release. Sit. Love your body. Smile to your body. Your body will smile back at you. Now, if you can, we are going to split. So, slowly, Bring your right or left and split. Do not force, just feel gently the stretch.
and release the pose. Sit and love your body. Each time to relax your brain, your shoulders, your stomach area. Now we are going to stretch our legs. So first, you are going to have your knees a little bit out and try to sit between your feet. Now, if you can't, you just stay as low as you can. Sometimes you can put like a big pillow between you your calf and you can bring your knee together and slowly you will be able to come more and more down and you will sit. The goal of this pose is not to lay down, it's to stay sitting. and you are going to relax one more time smile to your body bend your right leg like you were doing with the previous pose and extend your left leg to the side and slowly you are going to come towards your legs love your body you can just have your hand only or slowly bring your forearm on the floor do not force the pose just love your body let gravity and relax deeper and deeper. Relaxation will bring you slowly down. Slowly push with your hand, bring your left leg and reverse. Your right leg is going to go to the right, your left leg is going to be bent. And slowly come to the front. Push and come back to the sitting position. Relax your shoulders. And back on the knees. Stretching, flexing your spine, your hands at the level of your shoulders, inhale up, look up, exhale down, look at your navel, inhale up, exhale down, inhale up, Exhale, open a little bit your knees, 
bring your hand in front of you and slowly come down in a sitting position to stretch and bring slowly your forehead on the floor. If you relax deeper and deeper, you will feel your spine stretching. Slowly come back and step. If you relax the body, the body truly slowly melt and your tendons, your ligaments are slowly stretching. If you force the pose, it's the opposite and the bone sticks together. But when you relax, slowly everything relax for those who have back pain, knee pain, everything when you are doing relaxation, you will see you will go lower and lower, deeper and deeper, and you will feel the progress really quickly. Our last pose, it's really important as we are aging, and it's a pose that we should start really early as soon as we are really young, and it's a balance pose. Balance is really important as we are getting old as we can lose our balance and then it's not good. So feet together, you are on a spring, in lock your knees and in prayer position. Look at a point in front of you and lift your right leg up. Extend your arm. Reverse the palm. Bring the palm towards your chest and like if someone was giving a heavy ball, you are holding the ball in front of you. And now you are going to become a bird. Slowly, you are reversing the pose, bringing your legs up and you are flying. Slowly come back up, again being flexible on your left leg, and slowly right leg down, and we shake. Bend your knees, hand in prayer position, left leg up, you are on spring. Extend your arm. Look a point in front of you. Reverse the palm. Bring your hands toward your chest and offering or holding a big ball. Extend your leg in front of you and slowly reverse. Come back up and down. So again, just to repeat for you to remember, you are on the spring, right leg up, your hand in prayer position, you are extending your, your legs and your arm, or first your arm, then your legs. You reverse the palm, you bring and a ball. You are on the spring and you reverse, and you become a bird. And you come back up, and down. And you do left. Left up, extend your arm, extend your legs, reverse the palm, bring your hands toward your chest, ball, and reverse, and you are a bird. All this works, all the little move, all the little muscles that we never use in regular life or at the gym.
with up and down. You shake. Get a deep breath. You can now move into your meditation if you want and lay down. Or you move to the second part of the video that is the Kima for toning your body and enjoy. Remember, stop moving, it's stopping living. Continue to move your body and you will enjoy life for a very long time.